Hey guys, how's it going? So I uploaded a video about four or five months ago of my Vito Pro Pack model LC that I had just purchased. And uh, since then I've had quite a few people um, message me or uh, comment on the video and ask me to do a follow-up video, both to uh, review how I like the bag after having it for a few months and also to go slightly more in depth with some of the tools that are in it, you know, as far as the electrical trade goes. So I figured now is as good a time as any to do that. All in all, I am very happy with the Vito Pro Pack. Uh, I have gone through several different configurations of how I keep the tools inside and um, breaking it up one half versus the other. But as a whole, it's the most efficient bag I've ever worked out of. Holds the most, is the heaviest, but also seems to be the most durable. Uh, getting into some of the tool side, I continually change up the, the order, which I, I feel like I have these tools in. It's not like a tool belt where once I have it in there, you, you know exactly where everything's going to be. And this is a, a continued process for getting this exactly how I want it, and it doesn't help that I add and take out tools uh, intermittently. But this is pretty close to what I have as my daily setup. So on this side, I uh, have a Fluke T5 1000 in there. I love that meter. Uh, going into some of the pliers, Klein uh, needle nose. I have the Klein cable cutters. My trusty Klein line, linesman pliers. Uh, the Klein crimpers. Klein dykes that I shorted. Uh, three different pairs of the Klein strippers, uh, larger, medium size, and then down into some into some of the control wire stuff. I think this goes up to 26 on it, because um, I seem to be doing a variety of stuff between you know VFD work and control work and certain motor applications in the uh, plant I'm currently working at. So I just started carrying the really fine uh, sized strippers and it's been beneficial so far. Uh, I carry just three of the standard nut drivers. I think it's 11 30 seconds, half inch, and three eighths. I used to carry the full setup, all seven or eight of them, and I actually ended up buying the six in one multi-tool, which I still have mixed emotions about. I love the ease of which it is to just carry one nut driver if I'm doing, uh, you know, U-bolts or straps or anything that have different sized nuts on them. This is awesome. Uh, and it has the 9 16th, which a lot of the sets, at least, that Klein and Ideal and whatnot sold didn't have that. As a whole, I like it, but it is ungodly heavy, and it is also no longer made in America like their typical nut drivers would be. So that's uh, just a little bit of what I go through in my mind as far as liking it versus not liking it, and it plays a factor in it, so I'm still up in the air on how long that's gonna stay in my bag based on the weight and the uh, place of manufacture. I carry a selection of Klein screwdrivers as well. I have an 11-1, just a straight slot, Phillips, large and small, a couple terminations screwdrivers back here in these little pockets that they provide with the Vito. I also picked up the 15-in-1 Classic that they released a few months back. And I do actually like this more than the 11-in-1 uh, or 10-in-1, whatever the hell it is, uh, simply because I don't typically need nut drivers and screwdrivers. I just need to, if I'm going to grab a couple tools and take off or something, I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting into. This is probably going to get me into it, whereas the 11 and one hardly ever did because if it was something with a, a nut application, it was probably going to be smaller in 5 sixteenths and the quarter inch that these provide. So I'd be better suited taking the 15 and one and that nut, the multi nut driver, and I could probably get into any unit or any panel that I needed to. Uh, I got a assortment of Allen keys. Uh, these are both Klein, and these are the Eklein, Eklin brand, uh, which are no longer made in America, so I cannot get the smaller set with uh, 
good knowledge of their manufacturer. Uh, but I like these a lot. The only problem I have with them is that the set screw on them comes loose quite a bit and these end up flinging out all the time whenever you're doing anything but you just got to tighten it and it seems to alleviate the problem. I uh, got a J5 tactical flashlight, a wire nut spinner, and a little baby ratcheting screwdriver. I got this for uh, strut straps because if you have six, seven, eight strut straps in a row pretty close together and you want to get one of them off without really stripping out the, the screw on it, I got this just to kind of break it loose and put the final tightening on it whenever I got it back in there, if it was a, just an adjustment or whatnot. And I, it seems to work pretty good. It's a little Craftsman. Uh, also got a Craftsman uh, uh, tap tool. They carry the taps inside. It's cheap, but it gets it done. For the small amount of trim work that I do, if something's gumming up or not working right, it seems to do the job. I carry an ideal plug tester, which has served me wonders. Um, just a Greenlee tip tracer. I also picked up the... Uh, four-in-one precision screwdriver by Klein uh, and I am a big fan of this originally I felt like these were gonna fall out all the time and uh, I have not had that issue at all and the the heads actually seem to hold up really well even with some force that you put on them I would think that they'd be a lot flimsier than say the uh, the termination screwdrivers you could buy individually but they seem to hold up really good and again if I'm Doing the control wiring that we're, we've been doing at the, the winery I work at, um, I don't exactly know most of the time what I'm getting into when I you know start opening up these little J boxes and these terminal blocks. Uh, so that's a, a good alternative to as opposed to carrying four or five different little precision screwdrivers or a case of them. Uh, that simplifies the plan a little bit for me. Uh, what else on this side? Oh, I got a... I carry a... Coast headlamp, the 240 lumen. Um, I uh, really like this headlamp. The battery life on it is incredible. I've had the Energizer ones and Duracell ones, and they all they all preach that the battery life on low is 30 hours, and I'm lucky to get three or four out of it. So getting that one, even on high beam, it lasts a couple days on a set of batteries, and those are provided to me, so I'm not really worried about it. But it, Seem to be a good headlamp so far. I also have a stubby multi in there. I have the ratcheting one as well, but it's actually about a half to three quarter inch larger. And for me, it defeated the purpose of the stubby factor. Because when I when I actually need to get this out, it's because I have no freaking room. And uh, adding almost an inch to uh, the needed space to operate the tool was uh, asinine to me. So I've left that out of the bag for now. That looks like it's going to complete this side. Close that up. Outside, I carry a Stanley Auto Lock 25 foot tape measure. Love it. I just actually purchased the 16 foot as well because uh, this I find myself never needing that large of a tape measure, and the weight of it's just kind of more than I'd like to worry about. On this side, I carry a uh, razor blade, a pen, a marker, and a couple sets of a uh, couple rolls of electrical tape. And on this side of the bag, I uh, this is more my installation side, I guess. If you're running conduit or uh, setting panels or anything, uh, up at the top, I got a couple pairs of Craftsman adjustable ply of wrenches, uh, ten and an eight inch in there. I have a one inch chisel that I don't really need to carry, but I continue to just for the oddball event of needing to break something loose. Another uh, Phillips Craftsman uh, precision screwdriver that I've had for a long time that I enjoy. Uh, and on the side here I have a little speed square, whatever you're going to call it, whatever people call it, but I call them speed square. Um, I like the, the 6 inch version as opposed to the 12 because it's just a layout, you know, uh, holes for panels and gutters and whatnot, and that seems to do the trick. Got a pair of 430, 420, and 426, I believe, channel locks, the little guys. And all of those have suited me really well. I carry the Klein uh, Rare Earth Magnet level, not the lighted one or anything, but just a, another variety of their Chinese-made levels. 
Um, coming down, I carry, I'm carry. i still carrying the 20 ounce hammer, regardless if it's not fully fitting in this bag, because once I get to the, my work area, I typically pull it out, and it's that's all I have to worry about, because it's out in the cart for the rest of the day. I love the hammer. I can't see myself going to a lighter weight or a different style, so it is what it is on the fit of the in the bag. Uh, Klein reamer and some cheap file. Don't even know where I got it, but it's done the trick for a couple years now without any problems. So I gotta keep it in there. Um, I have all the, the uh, combo wrenches, ratcheting, all the all the different sizes. The only thing is the 13, 16, and 7 eighths up there are not ratcheting. They did not come. I'm not sure I couldn't find them individually. So I think the largest ratcheting one I have is a three quarter. I do like these wrenches as opposed to the, the ones with the adjustable um, direction knob on them because they're longer. They are a little bit more low profile, slightly thinner, which I'm not crazy about, but they are much longer. So if I do get to a size like a three quarter, I'm not dealing with something that's you know this long and have no torque on and I'm too close to the work or too close with my knuckles to the ground or whatever I'm tightening in. So the length of these is great in particular down with the more uh, moderate sizes like a 9 16 I'm able to put a lot more torque on it and uh, have a lot more uh, maneuverability when using them and I do use them quite a bit so that's been nice I uh, carry a, a set of allen keys just for making up uh, panels and disconnects and whatnot uh, three eighths down to I think a, an eighth and those have been great they're just a craftsman set but I, I like them they do the job uh, got a Klein No Dog. I also have a like an original No Dog, but I keep that at work. And this is just a in the bag one. Uh, what else? What else? I got another flashlight on this side. I don't like the lights, so I just keep keep one on each side just to grab one depending on what side I'm working out of. I know I have one. Uh, and over here, I have one of the Milwaukee folding sawzall blade holding. Jab saws. Let me see if I can get it open here. Um, I like it because I don't need a jab saw very often. So instead of having a saw tearing through these, the edge of these pockets, putting them in and out like the Irwin I used to carry, I just got grabbed one of these, put a sawzall blade in it, and the few times that I do need to actually get into drywall, it does the job and it's foldable, and I can just tuck it away and kind of forget about it because it might never. It only comes out. So every so often, uh, craftsman socket handle, seven sixteenths on it. I got a handful of extensions from Craftsman that have suited me really well. Um, Milwaukee extension, and all of the sockets themselves down to I think three eighths up to one inch. Also carry a utility socket, the five point. Uh, what is it, three quarter? Or it's just a right tool 9076, uh, it is. And it's worked perfect. I've never had any issues with not being able to get into any utility boxes or transformers. And, and I have a local utility key, so it kind of alleviates the need to call someone when I run into a, a box or a, a, a unit that I, I normally wouldn't be able to get into. Uh, here you go. Here, craftsman uh, 10 snips. I don't like these as much as the Wiss brand or whatever it's called um, due to them sticking. You know, you'd be mid cut and they stick. Um, but I have seemed to have lost the other one, so these are what I'm carrying for now. I have a set of nut setters, uh, impact rated. Great set. I like it because it's all together and I tend to not lose them as much. I don't like carrying a lot of pouches like this one with all the bits and parts and pieces in it, so that's been nice. And this, I just carry uh, some unit bits and adapters for all the different socket sizes and uh, uh, some uh, just a random assortment of drill bits, it looks like, in there. This pocket's more unit bits and punches, the impact uh, reamer, which I actually love. inch punch, getting ready for when I'm going to do knockouts, handful of Irwin, Klein, Greenlee unibits that all seem to do their 
job on a daily basis. And uh, that's the long and short of that side as well. But overall, uh, and the purpose of the video is to kind of show a, a dump out of what I carry as an electrician. I know everyone's got their do's and don'ts and wants and needs and this kind of suits mine uh, I'm not one of those people that likes to carry uh, the bare minimum of tools I'm one of the people that likes to have what I have I do not like making trips uh, back and forth to the trucks back and forth to the gang box I just I prefer have it and I'm not carrying this thing around on a daily basis on my shoulder like some people might so it doesn't affect me to load it for bear and you know, set it on a cart or set it in a work area that I'm going to be in the bag itself is great. It's held up well, uh, and as in my previous video stated, I've I've gotten near this amount of tools in other bags before, but they were uh, unusable, unfunctional. I had to dump half the shit out just to get to what I needed. All the small stuff always went to the bottom. This is a fixed that problem for me, and as a whole, been an excellent, excellent choice. <laughs> The only thing I do have a concern with is the zipper fatigue. I have uh, treated the zippers recently and that made it a little bit better, but I can see with the constant opening and closing these wearing out over time, but the uh, benefit to that is having the five-year warranty on the bag itself. I do not think uh, uh, if they do break within those five years, you know, I, I have the peace of mind of knowing that Vito will replace the bag with uh, no questions asked, so that's an amazing thing and I guess that's what you get when you pay for this kind of quality uh, alright guys well uh, I hope that was a helpful video at least to see what I'm carrying if any of you guys have any questions or comments about something you might carry that I'm missing uh, I'd love to hear about it so everyone have a good day and we'll see you on the next one